guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Alex and welcome to EOS Marketplace News. Now for today, as I promised, I will be giving you the third part of Initiative Q. I will be giving you the um, frequent asked questions and the timeline. All right, so for those who did not saw the first and the second video, I'll give you a, um, the preview about Initiative Q. All right, Initiative Q is the brainchild of Saar Wolf, a serial entrepreneur who started his first payment startup in 1997 and later founded Fraud Sciences, which redefined the payment security space and was acquired by PayPal in 2008. Wolf has compiled a team of experts from a variety of disciplines, including mathematics, economics, and other social sciences. The economic and monetary models were developed with economist Lawrence White, a professor of monetary theory and policy at George Mason University. White has published numerous articles and books on monetary theory and banking, including the theory of monetary institutions, free banking in Britain, and the clash of economic ideas. The idea behind Initiative Q is to first create a critical mass of users, which can then be harnessed to create the world's best payment network. Therefore, our primary focus is to get millions of Q members registered, after which we will continue to um, recruiting the world's top professionals in payment systems Ma uh, macroeconomics and internet technologies okay so guys um, let's see the timeline for initiative Q Q timeline initiative Q is still in its early days and there is a long way to go before all your queues could be used at around 1 USD per Q initiative Q's roadmap is based on a series of steps towards widespread use of the Q currency each step is designed such that participants will view its fulfillment as a rational decision given completion of the previous steps and the queue incentives they receive. Still, the roadmap carries many risks and challenges, and there is no guarantee that any of these steps will be successfully completed. All right, in the mid 2018 and 2019, member recruitment campaign, Target, rapid user growth indicating high likelihood of reaching let's learn more about it how to achieve it initiative Q's growth strategy is based on distributing Q incentives for signing up and for bringing friends so far this seems to be successful with each new user bringing on average more than one additional user Two, payment network development target mid-2019 to mid-2021. Develop an advanced payment network incorporating proven technologies. How to achieve it? Once a large base of users has been achieved, a payment network incorporating the best innovations in payment technology can be built and deployed. Additionally, the success of the member recruitment campaign is expected to generate interest and help raise sufficient investments for the development of the Initiative Q payment network. All right, three, selection of Q launch locations, target 2020. Um, chosen areas should include over 1% of total global population and have over 5% of the local population registered with Initiative Q. All right, number four, seller recruitment campaign. That's for 2020 to 2021. Recruit sellers committing to accept Q's payment upon launch. Physical stores accounting for 10% for trade, uh, um, trade volume in launch locations. And online stores covering over 50% of products at competitive price. So, example, online buyers should usually find at least one store selling their desired product with Q. Okay, now how to achieve it. Unlike buyers, sellers bear some cost and risk when joining Q um, and might be harder to recruit. However, there are several factors that make joining attractive to sellers. Okay, first, 
they will be recruited after a large base of users has already been established in their area so there is no chicken and egg dilemma sellers will know there will already be a critical mass of potential buyers two there are fewer sellers than buyers so each seller may receive much higher key rewards three seller recruitment is done after successful completion of the previous steps increasing the perceived likelihood of initiative queue success and thus the perceived value of each queue all right five formation of the monetary committee it's 2020 recruit leading monetary experts to form a monetary committee that is independent from the initiative queue company establish governance processes by which initi initiative queue stakeholders can replace the members of this committee six accumulation of initial monetary services that's that will be in late 2020 to mid 2021 so a target sell future queues to investors for at least 100 million usd wow so how to achieve it it is expected that with a critical mass of buyers and sellers the perceived likelihood um, of success will be high enough to attract significant investments providing the required initial monetary reserves to instill trust in Q. Um, distribution of payment app that's late 2020 to mid 2021 25 percent of the registered users install the app before launching the payment network how to achieve it users will receive additional Q grants for installing the application we expect that many of those who have made the effort to register will install the application so with Q is now closer to being a functional currency most users will not uh, want to miss the additional Q incentives. Right. Great marketing. 2020. Recruit Q agents in selected locations. At least one agent per location. An agent is responsible for regulatory licenses, customer support, and seller integration. So, how to achieve it? Since starting up as an agent may require significant investment, early agents will get an exclusivity period receive incentives in queue and may also receive grants in government-backed currency wow i want to be one of the queue agents guys all right 2020 to 2021 seller integration target 25 percent of registered sellers ready to accept queue upon launch of the payment network let's learn more how to achieve it at this point the prospect of selling the queue buyers becomes real as network launch engineers and monetary reserves are in place to support the conver conversion of queues at one dollar per queue right tens network launch late 2021 and onwards so exceed 100 million dollars in monthly transaction volume in launch locations so how can we achieve it with enough sellers agents and queue users motivated to use their funds all that remains is to clearly communicate and educate users on getting started 11th growth cycle and gradual release of all queues target add locations increase buyer and seller penetration in each location increase wallet share release queues to match growth let's learn more how to achieve it as economic activity and transactions volume grow more queues have to be released into the network to maintain the queue value these new queues will be released primarily to users that promote growth and trust fueling a virtuous cycle moreover as activity volumes grow and uses of queue expand beyond retail commerce example salary payments and supplier payments users will be inclined to assign value to queue more due to its superior usability and will require less dependence on the fallback option of converting the queue into government backed currencies last but not the least become a major payment network so globally accepted 5 trillion usd annual volume all queues reserved as in incentives are released at a rate of around one USD per queue. All right, so guys, that's for the timeline of queue, and let's move on to fa um, 
FAQ or free, frequently asked questions. Joining Initiative Q. What is Initiative Q? Initiative Q is building the payment system of the future. The Q payment network will integrate the best technological improvements that have been made in the payment industry over the last few decades to create flexible, easy to use, and inexpensive payment network. These technologies have been available for years but have not been adopted due to a classic chicken and egg barrier. No buyer wants to join a new network with no sellers and no seller will offer a payment option that no buyer uses. Initiative Q solves the adoption problem by associating the payment network with a new global currency and distributing this currency to early adopters for free. All right, why should I join um, Initiative Q? Guys, listen. The earlier you join, the higher your reward. So we believe that Initiative Q will overcome the main barrier to a better payment system and has a good chance of becoming the global standard. But even if, um, if you give it just 0.1% chance of success, think of it as a free lottery ticket. Wow, why not, right? It's free and safe. All you need to do is provide your name and email. So by joining, you increase the chances of success and accelerate the transformation of the payment industry, a change that will benefit everyone, eliminating the need to carry cash or plastic leading to lower cost, less fraud, and fewer scams. Last, you will help reduce the enormous waste and pollution caused by Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, currently consuming as much energy as six million households. Wow, I didn't know that. Next, what are the risks in signing up? What will you do with the data I provide? So there are no risks. It's safe and free to join. You just provide your name and email address. We store your personal data securely and we don't share it with anyone else. We will only email you regarding the project and your account. So why do I need to confirm my email? What happens if I don't? Email confirmation helps ensure that accounts are created by real people and not bots or ro <coughs> excuse me, robots. If you don't confirm your email, it will eventually be deleted from the system and your account will not be activated or eligible for rewards. Right. Why does an existing member need to verify me? A secure payment network requires that accounts be associated with real people. This is especially important when potentially highly valuable rewards are at stake. Therefore, we require that all new members be verified by existing users who actually know them. There are incentives for verifying new members as well as dissentives, um, yes, dissentives that discourage verification of contacts you don't know well or trust. <coughs> Excuse me. In addition to preventing false registrations, this process builds a trust network which can later be used to improve security. For example, if a buyer is purchasing a high value item, it is important to verify that their account was not taken over. In that case, another member who has a trust relationship with the buyer can be asked to check that the buyer is aware of that transaction. Right, guys, we all know that security and convenience is very important. So join the initiative here right now. Um, is this a pyramid or MLS scheme? Pyramid schemes collect money from new members and distribute it to the earlier members. In contrast, joining Initiative Q is completely free. So clearly, there's no money to hand off the pyramid to earlier members. Initiative Q does give cues to members who join and more cues are given to early members and to those who invite their friends. However, the value of these cues will come from them being gradually accepted as a better currency in accordance with the equation of change in economics. All right, Initiative Q's marketing approach is not different than, than that used by many companies such as Dropbox, um, Uber, Airbnb, Zoho, and others that compensate users who invite their friends. In Initiative Q's case, New registrants may sometimes see more value in the reward, resulting in more invitations being sent. 
The requirement that new members be invited by existing users has an additional benefit detailed in the previous question. How can I get invited? What if I'm invited? Um, what if my invite link doesn't work? If you were invited by someone who has used up all their invites, you may ask them to connect you to a mutual friend who may still have open invites. Otherwise, um, the two easiest ways to get invited are first, submit a post in social media asking your friends whether any of them have already registered and could invite you. Second, go to the Initiative Q page on Facebook or Twitter and see which of your friends follow or like Initiative Q and they may already be registered. All right, next, what is an Initiative Q evangel or Q evangelist and how do I become one? Every new member can invite and verify a limited number of friends. So yes, I can, as for me, I can um, invite five, right, five friends. So this helps ensure a diverse community of Q members and avoids concentrating the rewards among small click. However, people, um, people who successfully complete all their initial invites are upgraded to initiative Q evangelists. Evangelists get additional time and invites to invite others and reserve new queues. Can I register multiple times and get more queues? You may only open one Q account. All right. Guys, again, you may only open one new account, all right? Here, sign up and verification. Why didn't I get confirmation email? Not receiving emails is often due to misspelling your email or your spam filter settings sometimes or emails are delayed by your email services. So guys, here, <clears throat> we suggest you check on spam or junk folders or you can sign up again. You can sign up via Google, Facebook, or Twitter or you can sign up different email address. That's it, <clears throat> all right? And make sure that you put correctly the spelling of your email address. All right, why can't I log in? There are a few reasons that could not lead to login problems. Uh, fortunately, I don't have any uh, problems. You can just remember the password, right? You can just, um, there will be a notification when you register, there will be a notification to always remember the password or not, right? So you can just put remember password if, you, if you're if you forgetful, right? Why can't I log in? There are a few reasons that could lead to login problems. You did not complete your sign-up process, of course. The person who invited you rejected your request, oh, or you deleted your own account. You are using the wrong email address or you misspelled your email address. You signed up via Twitter, Facebook, or Google so you don't have a password. Now, um, if you are, you can continue to log in via Twitter, Facebook, or Google, or you can click forgot password to set up a new password. All right. So here, where is my invite link? To invite friends and reserve more queues, log in to initiativeq.com, log in, and share your unique invite link. But make sure that the person who invited you verifies your registration request. Ah, so guys, beware. Um, for example, you were invited by your friend and then you've already registered. Be, um, be mindful that you need to inform your friend that they need to verify your registration so that you can be registered, all right? Why can't I approve the people I invited? After you sign up, your account is still pending until the person who invited you verifies your registration, see? They need to verify you. I am not, a very, uh, I'm not verified and I cannot contact the person who has invited me. What do I do? Oh, close your account and accept a new invitation from someone you know and who you can contact. This is very important, guys. Um, I laugh because, um, for, um, for example, I am not verified because I can contact who has invited me. Make sure that you can contact the person who invi invited you, all right? Make sure where to contact them. But I'm sure that you would not accept any invites from a person that is unknown to you, right? Why isn't my invite link working? There are a few possible reasons. Only a limited number of friends can use your link at time. Yes, as for me, I can only invite five. 
Each member has a limited number of invites. Yes, make sure that you shared your own unique referral link, of course. Why can't I see the people I invited? Make sure that you shared your own unique referral link. Make sure that your friends actually signed up with a valid email address. All right. What if a new user did not confirm their email address? And confirmed emails are automatically removed from the system within a few hours. How do I close my account? An account can be closed by logging in into the website. All right. What do I receive for signing up? When you register, a certain number of queues are allocated for you. These reward queues serves as incentive to join and they will gradually be released to you after the queue payment network becomes active. Why would you give away queues for free? Um, guys, they get, reserving high queues overcomes this concern and will allow us to build payment network that is de decades ahead of anything available today. How much do I get for joining? The maximum amount of queue can you receive depends on when you sign up. At each stage of engagement with queue, you can claim more queue. It's more important to complete each stage as soon as it's available as some tasks have deadline. All right, so what advantages does queue payment network offer? All right. Now, guys, um, what advantages does the SKU payment network offer? Over the last few decades, um, many advances, many advances payment systems have been devised, but they, but they have not been made available. Since they are only valuable, valuable once they are widely adopted, a chicken and egg problem. So, here, this is really long. All right, now guys, since this is really long and I am just giving you the answer of frequently asked questions, you can visit the link that I've sent to you. I will be giving you the description. I will be giving you the description. Um, I will be giving you the description on the information box below. All right, so you can just click on that link and then go to FAQ and um, visit initiativeq.com all right okay so guys that has been for today and i hope you have enjoyed this video this has been alex thank you so much for joining me and hope to see you soon again bye